Uh, good morning. No, no, not at all. Look, Liz has been leading the way on calling for reductions in tax and putting more money in people's pockets for some time with her opponents saying that's fairy tale stuff when actually we need to help people. We need to get on with doing that now, not waiting a few years to see what we can do. And Liz has been leading the way on that and continues to be in the space that she wants to have an emergency budget, get money in people's pockets now to deal with the challenges that people are seeing. How do tax cuts help people who don't pay tax? Well, obviously, tax cuts help people who are paying tax. What we also need to do is make sure that we've got a growing economy to create more jobs for more people to get to a level where they're paying tax, and also to make sure that we are delivering on our energy security to make sure that we're doing everything we can in the medium and long term, as well as the short term, to bring down, not just create energy security, but to bring down those prices. Now, that's a global challenge. We're seeing both with energy uh, challenges and, and prices and inflation, partly because of the war in Ukraine, but we can do more ourselves to domestically as well to, to protect that security by seeing investment in that sector in the, in the short and medium term. Yeah, no, I think no one would doubt that growing the economy and energy security is really important and that needs to happen. But that's going to take time. And in a very short space of time, we're going to see energy bills soaring and people are really going to need help with that. So why are we not seeing more comprehensive policy from Liz Trust when it comes to helping those people directly, especially those that don't pay tax? Because well, I think Liz has outlined, she wants to do this the right way. She wants to move quickly if she becomes Prime Minister. She wants to have an emergency budget. And obviously an emergency budget would deal with these very issues. What she's setting out at the moment is that overarching set of principles that will guide her as Prime Minister and whoever her Chancellor is, which is to have a low tax economy, so more pit money for people who are paying tax to be able to spend in the way they see fit to deal with these challenges, but also to have one that's based on a high wage and high productivity economy. So we're seeing more jobs created for people that in the even in the short term, can make quite a big difference to the security that people have in their homes. Do you worry that too much of the discussion during this leadership debate has been about taxation when the general public, the people who Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak will be Prime Minister for, appear not to be anywhere near as concerned? I'm referring to the latest uh, polling that uh, the Times are running today, combined with YouGov. 64% of voters, so this isn't the Tory membership, think the Prime Minister should focus on inflation. 17% of them think that you should focus on tax cuts. Do you think, therefore, that you're a little bit out of step with what everyone else is worrying about? Well, as I say, I think uh, Liz has led the way in trying to talk about how we make sure we're getting more money in people's pockets. But look, it's a very fair challenge. The reality is these things are not mutually exclusive. What we want to do and what Liz Truss wants to do is get on top of and deal with the challenges that we're seeing with inflation, get inflation under control, but also be putting more money in people's pockets. Some people are arguing that you can do one or the other. It's just not the case. Actually, you can look at how you deal with inflation whilst also keeping a low tax economy. But doing both, putting money in people's pockets and cutting taxes, it's going to require more borrowing, right? Well, not necessarily. So first of all, what Liz has already outlined is within the budget that is already set out from the Treasury that we have. But also some of these things. So, for example, one of the things I can remember being on media talking about a few years ago was as we were reducing corporation tax, which, of course, is the one tax that companies can do a direct comparison around the world when they're looking to invest and grow internationally in what is now a faster and faster growing global economy. When they're looking at that, that's something that means that they invest more. So you can reduce the tax percentage, but actually see the take go up because more companies invest, more companies grow, they make more profit and therefore they ultimately pay more tax and employ more people. So this is this point. If you get these things right, you can see growth, you can see more money in people's pockets whilst reducing tax and have the money to invest in public services. That's what we want to achieve. That comes from a high productivity, high growth, low tax economy. And that's what Liz wants to deliver. Uh, just finally, a thought about the comments uh, from former Prime Minister Gordon Brown on the front of one of the uh, tabloids this morning talking about recalling Parliament, possibly calling for uh, daily COBRA meetings to tackle the cost of living. I mean, a lot of people would say, look, you know, he's from a different party. I don't expect you to accept a lot of what he says. But there is a fear, isn't there, with four more weeks of this leadership debate going on and two potentially exhausted leaders taking the reins on the 6th of September that eyes are off the ball and, and you know, it, this isn't perhaps the best way to govern. 
Oh, well, look, a couple of things I say to that. One is the current Chancellor, I know, is focused on this. And even while he's been out of the country, he's been having daily meetings and conversations with his team around what we're doing. But also, I could assure you, when you talk about the energy levels, the energy levels of Liz Truss are absolutely bubbling high. She is very determined to carry on the work for people, both as Foreign Secretary, also through this leadership campaign. And I've known Liz a very long time. I've seen the amount of energy she's got. If she's made Prime Minister in September, she will hit the ground running. She'll have all the energy she needs to deliver for people across the United Kingdom. And Lewis.